Today I'm talking to you live in person. Hello every friend of you here and this video is way overdue. Today I'll be reviewing Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. So, let's not waste any time, let's jump right in to Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. <laughs> So, the story. The story pretty much follows the s plot of Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. You've got the Resistance and the Evil First Order. The First Order assert the First Order and the Resistance searching for Matt to Luke Skywalker, the last Jedi, after Kylo Ren slaughtered them with help of Supreme Leader Snoke. They're also building a super weapon, of course it's Starkiller Base, base in order to wipe out the Resistance once and for all. But there's a chosen one, Ray. A farm boy. It's a new hope. It's pretty much Star Wars A New Hope. But let's not waste any time. Let's jump right in to the presentation. The presentation has been updated from the previous two games, Star Wars The Complete Saga and Star Wars a Episode 3 The Clone Wars. All Lego. But the oh, cutscenes look amazing with voice cool. acting now. Now from the voice actors who play the actual cats. But it all helps and con congregates together to create a fantastic game that really feels like Star Wars. Star Wars. But now, let's not waste any time. Let's jump right in to the gameplay. Hang on, let me check. So, the gameplay. The gameplay is pretty much the same LEGO style we've seen throughout pretty much every LEGO game ever. Collect stuff, build things, fight enemies, kill them. But, there's also an open world aspect, or an open galaxy aspect. It's better than No Man's Sky. You can collect all different characters throughout the world, quit, get the Lego bricks and all the different stuff in order to pretty much 100% complete it. But now, let's move on to the final level. So, you've done it. You've fought your way through the First Order, recruited Han Solo. It's time to take on Starkiller Base. Turns out there is a way to destroy this base before it wipes out the resistance. It has a thermal oscillator which regulates the energy from the sun it drains into a beam of energy, pretty much. If they can destroy that thermal oscillator, then the resistance fighters can move in. So, they do it. But unfortunately, it's at the cost of Han Solo. And then, we move along. Let's go home. Um, we move past, it. we move on, destroy Starkiller Base, face Kylo Ren, defeat him, and then go find Luke Skywalker with the help of R2-D2 and Chewbacca. And that's why the final rating for Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens in Lego, is a 9 out of 10. It's a great game worth a pick up, and I'll see you guys on the next fun reviews. Bye! Uh... R2-D2, you come back. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Fun Reviews. If you enjoyed it, click here to subscribe, click here to watch more videos, and click here to check out Demi Louise, Arctikai, and Dragonfire Games. And I'll see you guys on the next Fun Reviews. Bye bye! <coughs> <coughs>